Greetings everyone, my name is Jason Paradise Koontz and I am the Community Manager on Toy Soldiers War Chest. We're back this week with a special treat for you. In our previous videos, you've been seeing a lot of gameplay footage, but this week we've decided to do something a little bit different. For the first time, we'll be giving you a sneak peek of what goes on behind closed doors at Signal Studios. In case you're not familiar with Signal, Signal Studios was founded in 2008 by three industry veterans who combined their experience of working at some of the world's top studios and publishers to form Signal Studios. The studio has grown to more than 40 employees and now develops both video game and interactive software applications. Signal is best known for Toy Soldiers, which is one of the top 10 best-selling Xbox Live Arcade games of all time. As part of the Toy Soldiers franchise, they've also released Toy Soldiers Cold War and a variety of different DLC for both titles. We here at Ubisoft are super excited to be working with them on Toy Soldiers War Chest. Let's start our behind the scenes look with Starbright's boss unit, the Cloud Castle. In Toy Soldiers War Chest, players will be able to call in their boss units in multiplayer, and these units will fight for them instead of against them. Here you can see how the boss box for the Cloud Castle is being drawn, designed, and executed. The artist is using a combination of Maya and Photoshop to create the image and the 3D box that will be dropped in game when the unit is summoned. Here's another shot of artists working on the breakables for the game. Breakables are items on the map such as buildings and trees that players can shoot at and break into smaller pieces, adding a new flavor and a level of strategy to Toy Soldier's War Chest. First artist here is working on the Great Wall that will be featured in game and another is working on a house and the facade of it. The artist will go through quite a bit to make sure each original art asset becomes breakable. Artists will take existing mesh and alter it by cutting geometric shapes to make a unique break state. Depending on the complexity of the model, there could be more than one break state. From the break state, the artists generate transitional pieces, uh, which you'll end up seeing as debris flying across the level. Let's take the time, as always, to answer a couple of community questions as well. First question is, will there be only two factions in the game? Actually, no, there will not. There will be four heroes at launch, each with their own unique armies that they will be able to lead into battle. Each hero also comes with their own unique campaign. Second community question we had come through was a question about Kaiser and if he was going to be able to use his signature SMG in game. There's a new feature in Toy Soldier's War Chest, which is the ability to progress and level up your hero through their unique campaign. With this, you'll be able to unlock different weapons, such as an SMG, and be able to equip them to your hero and customize your army to your liking. And that just about does it for this week's sneak peek, but of course we're looking forward to showing you more next week. Reminder that Toy Soldiers War Chest will be coming out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam in early 2015. Until next time.